there are two bedside modalities in order to assess whether someone is at high risk of getting prostate cancer. One of them is a PSA. PSA stands for prostate specific antigen. Mm -hmm. It's a blood test that will give you a predictions of how likely you are to get prostate cancer. But that itself is very inaccurate. So because there are many things that can uh, uh, cause elevations of PSA. For example, if you ejaculate um, just within an hours of uh, having a blood test, your PSA will go up. If you're a keen cyclist, your PSA will go up. So therefore, it's rubbing <laughs> on the perineum that actually causes it. So with that alone, it's insufficient. But we know in combination with the digital rectal examination, it is extremely predictable to, uh, it is it's a quite, quite a good predictor to see whether someone has got higher risk of prostate cancer or an enlarged prostate. So the finger mm. is quite crucial.